Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Sengupta and you're watching Electric Vehicles. So every big company is betting on lithium-ion batteries, battery manufacturing in general. We know Reliance Industries has recently invested a lot of money in sodium-ion manufacturing. So there are other companies also that we don't hear about regularly, but in this video, we're going to talk about all those big companies which are currently making it big in the battery sector in India. And before starting this video, I'd also like to remind you people that besides English, we are also operating in many Indian regional languages like Hindi, Punjabi, Marathi, Gujarati, Bangla, Uriya, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam. The links of all these channels will be in the description. You can watch our videos in your own preferred language. So do head out to these channels and uh, subscribe and also subscribe to this English channel as well. Like our videos as well. At number seven is the TDS plant located in Gujarat. Now TDS stands for, it's actually an amalgamation of three companies. T stands for Toshiba which brings in the cell technology. D stands for Denso, which brings in the battery module manufacturing technology. And S is of course for Suzuki, which holds 50% of stake in this TDS company. Now they call themselves India's first lithium ion manufacturing plant. Together, these three companies have invested 180 million US dollars into manufacturing battery packs specifically for the Suzuki company. So Suzuki as of now does not have any plans to launch electric vehicles, but it seems they're getting everything ready for the launch when they do. At number six is Excite. We all know about it. It's been operational in India since 75 years now. It is the top manufacturer, the top name when it comes to lead acid battery packs. It is known for its vast network and innovation and besides India, it also has its presence in many international markets. And of course, Excite is also entering into the lithium ion space. At number five is ATL, which is Ampere X Technology Limited. This is world's top lithium ion battery manufacturer and innovator. They've got tie-ups with different companies to supply batteries. These range from smartphone batteries to laptops to drones to even robotics. Their headquarters is based out of Hong Kong, but they do have a branch in Haryana. At number four is LI Energy. This is a company based out of Chennai, Tamil Nadu, and it is developing lithium batteries since 2019. Their specialty is that they are working in the LFP space, which is lithium iron phosphate. LFP batteries are more tuned to the Indian conditions. They're more stable, they're more safe, and they also support a large number of charge cycles. This company, Ally Energy, claims that you can get 6,000 charge cycles from their batteries. In fact, they're so confident about it that they're giving you a 10-year service warranty in your battery pack. At number three is Manikarna Power Limited. Now, this company deals with renewable as well as non-renewable sources of energies. So you'll get coal, natural gas, and now the company since 2019 has also moved forward in the lithium ion space. It has set up its lithium refinery in India, and it's also developing a charging infrastructure for us. Second in our list is Amara Raja. Those who are interested in stock markets must be knowing about this company. Just like ITC, Amara Raja also has its presence in many sectors, including packaged food and drink, electronics, infrastructure, sheet metal fabrication, healthcare, and of course, for this video's purpose, battery manufacturing as well. The branch looking at battery manufacturing is called Amaraja Batteries Limited and the popular brand Ameron is their own product. Their battery packs are used in the telecom sector, also in solar projects to store energy. And they also have their presence. Their batteries are also used in railways and in defense. At number one is HBL Power Systems. HBL stands for Hyderabad Batteries Limited. They've been operational since 1977. They specialize in nickel cadmium batteries and their battery packs are used in defense, railways, and aircrafts. Before we end this video, I'd also like to tell you about RAC Energy. This company deserves a special mention because the battery pack that this company makes has AIS-156 certification. What that means is that their battery packs have undergone drop test, mechanical stress test, flood, rain test, and most importantly, fire test. It has also been subjected to flames, direct and indirect, and the battery pack survives that. That is the test uh, pro protocol that is set up by the Indian government. I'll make a dedicated video on this because it is very important. So until then, please like this video and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and of course, check out our regional language channels. And we'll see you again. Go green, go electric.